ever since the realization of my awakening, I have found out so many things about myself that seemed to be elusive since the beginning of my existence on earth. I have discovered that I no longer want to be in a competition that I intentionally or unintentionally put myself in. I am so sensitive to the world, to my needs, to my body, to my spirit and soul, that I am able to recognize the need for change, for adjustment, for enhancement and retreat. Growing up, I didn't see my body as sexual or as anything of importance. To me, my body was just a vessel that housed my dreams, ambitions, thoughts, worries and care. But even before puberty hit, it was probed, experimented upon by people closest to me and sometimes strangers. Puberty hit different and that was when everything changed. I never knew my body held so much power that there were conversations about it. People closest to me would prob and push and say, you have a big breast. Men do not like big breasts. Men do not like girls with short legs. Men do not like people who are fat. The pressure to change your society was too enormous and the voices in my head became louder and louder because these things were continually spoken to me by people close to me. And these are people I naturally admire and look up to. And eventually these things were internalized and I saw nothing good about myself. I was very high functioning with very low self-esteem. I locked myself in a room for years and years, no matter where I went to, in pursuit of my career, Spain, Amsterdam, Norway, Sweden, even my hometown. I spent most of those times in my room, all because I internalized that I wasn't good enough for the world to see me. I thought I didn't have anything to offer. So naturally, I hate myself. I isolated myself. I couldn't see past my own insecurities and how it affected me socially. I pushed away people that wanted to be friends with me, all because I thought I wasn't good enough for them. And because everybody I've known in my life have hurt me, one way or the other, and I internalized it. It was like an imprint in my soul and it was like karma all the world was just against me because they kept on bringing people, people who are seasonal people who I meet at one point in my life and when we no longer have same interests same purpose or same goals the friendship turns to fizzle out and I got used to it and everybody I meet I treat them so shallow because it's a pattern that kept on repeating that I began to notice that I lacked the skill and the social skills to form deep friendships with people. My social life is still a mess because it's a process to try to learn to be friends with people and communicate with people and be vulnerable enough to form deep intimacy and deep friendship man i didn't allow myself to date because all i've ever known from men is being taken advantage of i have really never known what true love is all my life even though i have been in a few relationships that i trusted that these people were going to guard my fragile self because I am a very sensitive person but that was never the case my insecurities were used against me and because I didn't have the social skills to attract more people into my life I stayed in one in which I was an option I was never a priority and I was content with that after all 
I don't treat myself any better, so why should I expect anyone to treat me better? One day, I woke up and I told myself I was never going to be that girl anymore. I have to be strong. I was done living my life for others. I was done living my life in isolation. I was done just existing. I wanted more. I did the painful thing. I cut off the people that no longer serve me. I cut off relationships that kept me in survivor because I had no skills to survive but I just cut it off because it was like a parasitic relationship. There was nothing good gonna come out of it and I trusted my instincts and I've been going on this journey and I know it's a long journey but I prefer where I am now to where I have been there is finally hope there is finally light at the end of the tunnel my life is changing my life is turning around it's called healing my trauma no longer held me bound. The internalized hate for myself no longer held me bound. I have a healthy dose of self-esteem now. I'm not going to come here and say it was easy to be with myself to this level because I'm still working on me. It was a lot of work. It was a lot of shadow work and I'm grateful that I have the opportunity to go through this journey and I'm grateful that I have the opportunity to see the outcome of it in this lifetime. Life is great. You're not your problems. You're not your trauma. Even if you are, even if you've done things in the past that makes you feel worthless. You are not supposed to carry this burden. You have paid enough price. You have to start living. You have to start living. You live this life just once. And when you realize that you are just passing by and you only get one chance, you are going to leave up that one chance. So please start healing. Please start your journey. It's worse where you are right now. It's worse. Don't think about the journey. Just start. As for my body, it's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. It houses all the important organs. It functions beautifully. It's in great health. I've learned to treat it better now. I've learned to say beautiful things to it. I've learned to compliment it every day. No more bad words for my body. No more bad words for this beautiful thing that has carried me throughout the bad times, the good times. And it stayed with me. It never buckled. No matter what pressure I put on it, my body still serves me. And I treat it better every day. As for relationships, I am still single. But I am on the journey to find someone to share my golden years with. But for now, I will keep on living my best life. I will treat myself better every day. I will put my mental health in check. I will always be in a positive headspace. And I will have my life no other way.